Pontus, an educator in motion presents a teach on purpose moment. Why do so many teachers struggle with using data to drive daily instruction? Why is this a sore topic for some and a roadmap for others? The philosophical debates that erupt at the mere mention of using data is a phenomenon within itself. But why? I believe until teachers embrace that we are practitioners and not deliverers of quality instruction, the dance of to use data or not to use data will continue to have an undeserved stranglehold on instructional practices. Though many debates are needed about many things in this graceful, elegant profession of ours, this suffocating hold on teachers that come into the classrooms every day unprepared and unwilling to teach students what they need in order to be successful should not exist in the education profession of today. Perception is the key to breaking the stronghold over the teacher's mindset that has dismissed using data to drive daily instruction. Perception is the culprit that has led some teachers to think that the classroom is all about him or her and not about the needs of their students. Until teachers have a conversation with self and address their own resistance to using data, years of students' education journey will be lost, never to be regained. I believe that most teachers that are not using data do so because of a lack of knowledge about how to effectively employ collected data. Yet, there is a significant number of teachers who do not employ the use of collected data to drive daily instruction because of idleness and a lack of self-motivation. Their unwillingness to become active members of the paradigm shift in education continues to hinder collaboration and weaken students' opportunities to grow academically. Therefore, I ask, is this fair to students? And is a teacher's lack of self-motivation and unwillingness to grow an act of malpractice as a practitioner of education? submit to you the following. Using data to make decisions is all around us, improving our lives on a daily basis. When you stop at a light, the timing is based on data from the amount of traffic that flows through that light. When you boot up your computer, the memory is filled with data that uploads your settings so that you can use your laptop efficiently and effectively. When you have blood drawn, the doctor uses that data to determine your treatment. When you get in your car, it functions off the data. Gas gauge, engine temperature, oil level, all of which has to be within specifications in order for your car to function properly. Therefore, I ask, without ostentatious grandeur, why are we, as practitioners of pedagogy, still debating why when and if we should use data to discover what our students know and don't know about our standards. Furthermore, why are we not using that data to plan lessons that meet the needs of students, to create a learning environment that addresses the needs of every student in the classroom?
Why are we still bearing the isness of some fellow teachers that come to collaboration meetings with no data or the data is thrown together because they had to bring it? This same teacher will take a seat at the table after flapping their folder on it and cross their arms across their chest and wait for the first opportunity to hijack the conversation with a philosophical debate about why data collaboration is a waste of time. They say, too much time is wasted giving assessments. Assessments are flawed. The assessments are not a challenge for my students. Why do we have to give multiple assessments? This assessment does not really measure what my students know. I don't need an assessment to tell me what my students don't know. It's like students that come in day after day after day with sagging pants or without a pencil or with a bad attitude that must be reminded of what has been proven. Wearing sagging pants isn't becoming. Not having the proper tools to participate in class delays the teaching and learning process. And having to address bad attitudes obstructs instructional time. Enough already is what many of you say or want to say. Well, to those educators that look at using data as a waste of time, enough already. If you arrived at an airline and you were asked, which pilot do you want to fly your aircraft from New York to London? Based on the images you see, which would you select? Why? What variables are affecting your choice? Knowledge and expertise is affecting your choice. You want the pilot that has mastered flying, met the standards and all the other skills required to successfully launch maintain while in flight, and land the aircraft. Then why, as educators, are we still debating why data should be used to drive daily instruction? The evidence has been gathered and it has revealed that the teacher who uses data accomplishes two things. First, effective use of instructional time, and secondly, students' academic needs will be addressed. For this reason, do not fear the use of data to drive daily instruction. Do not fear confiding in a fellow colleague to get you started with understanding what your data is saying and how you can use that data to meet the needs of your students. Educators in Motion collect multiple data, qualitative and quantitative, about their students, such as assessment data, previous year portfolios and report cards, inventories like multiple intelligence and learning styles, letters from students about their education expectations. Test talk notes are just a few. An educator in motion, teaching on purpose, not having philosophical debates about using data, is a beautiful dance. The reality is a paradigm shift has occurred and until all teachers see the value in what we do, 
we will continue to struggle with the issue of using data. Teacher, teach on purpose.